Hello friends, uh, this is Vijay, DevOps engineer. Today we will be talking about how to install the plugins into Jenkins. We have a various ways to install a Jenkins. Last time, in last video, I have showed you how to install the Jenkins. Now I will tell you how to install the plugins into the Jenkins. Like Jenkins, this is a plain platform right now. Now to make it work for all the tasks which you do, it depends on the project wise, you can install your plugins. Okay. For that, go to the localhost 8080, log in with admin, go to the manage Jenkins button here on the left hand side. You will see a lot of options. Okay. There you will see the manage plugins. You can see manage plugins. Click on that. Okay. If, if you have an internet connectivity, you just have to search your plugin. Okay. Updates. There is no updates. You have to click on the available plugins. If any installed plugins, you can see the list of installed plugins and installed plugins. Okay. Whatever we installed during the installation of the Jenkins. Suppose you have to install a new plugin like, like I want to install Ansible as a plugin. So I'll type here Ansible. You can see two options has come. One is Ansible. Second one is Ansible Tower. I want to install the Ansible, so click on Ansible, okay. Install without restart, download now and install after restart. So you can select install without restart. You can select any options, download now and install after restart. So let's select without restart. Once I click on this, it has so many dependencies. It is the previous one. Checking internet connectivity, checking update center connectivity, success, okay. Let's come down. See all these installations were during the install, uh, during the installation of Jenkins. Now the Ansible has been installed on all the dependencies also, along with the Ansible. So this is the one way of installing the Ansible as a plugin. Now when you go to the installed plugins, <coughs> now when you go to the installed plugins, you can see the Ansible. Ansible plugin has been installed and enabled. So how do you check whether Ansible is activated or not? Open another link, click on new item, create on uh, new test freestyle project, click on freestyle project, click OK. Okay, it's creating a freestyle project called test. It has created a freestyle project called test. Now whether your Ansible plugin has been installed or not, scroll down from the top, you scroll down, come here and you can see the invoke Ansible playbook and invoke Ansible vault. These two options, these three options are enabled. So Ansible playbook is, uh, plugin is installed. So this was the one way of installation. Okay, now installed plugin is here. Another way to install a plugin is if you do not have internet or you have, you are behind a VPC, what you can do is you can download a plugin. You can see all the dependencies. <coughs> like this is the URL where you can go there. You can do a control F and civil. You can see two options are there. Uh, and civil and Ansible tower. We want to install the Ansible. Click on Ansible. Okay. Click on permanent link to the latest. Click on the permanent link to the latest. It will download the latest HPI file. Okay. Now, when you are doing a offline installation, you have to go to the uh, documents of a plugin. So like this is a document of a plugin Ansible where you can click on see first it will open like this. You have to click on the dependencies there. You have to see what is the required dependencies. So you have to install these or make sure these are already installed. Then only your Ansible HPI will work. <laughs> Let's come here and see we'll plug in. How do I uninstall? Okay, now in the plugin manager, go to the advanced settings. Okay, now since Ansible is already installed, what I'll do is I'll select something else Python. Control F, P, Y, T, H, O, and Python. I'll install the Python plugin. Okay, click on the latest. Now Python plugin has been downloaded. Now here also you have to select what is the dependency of the Python. So let's search the dependency of the Python. Python, click on Python, click on search, click on Python, 
and dependencies required dependencies required is nothing so we can directly install the python.hpi okay so now deploy plugin you can select a plugin from your local file system or provide a url to install a plugin from outside the central repository okay click on choose file go to the downloads click on python api select this and deploy you can come down you can see the python is getting installed and it is success now how to test whether python has been installed or not let's uh, say uh, trigger again the test config click on this and you can see the python script here so python has been installed without going to the so you can download it store it in local and then install it so that is the way of installation of plugin now i'll talk about the various method of other other method of plugin installation go to the advanced settings again suppose your computer is behind the proxy where you have to connectivity put the proxy server name put the port on which proxy username and password okay and click on advanced give a test url suppose you want to test any any google url test it and validate proxy if that is successful then you will be able to do the same activity again okay if you have a jenkins plugin present on some other website you can give that json here and submit it will install so these are the three methods of installation of plugin inside jenkins one is directly through the available plugins select the plugin and it will install all the dependencies next is you can go to this update.jenkins.io download plugins here you can download the plugin directly and install it using the advanced settings third one is using the proxy so these are the three methods hope you are clear on the installation of the plugins as per the project requirement